And then I remember the the film that we saw, uh, the Astro City. Yes. Yes. Hmm? Yes, yes. yes. Remember when the good saintly beings came to that uh, desperate uh, uh, doctor who just died, yeah. Yes. yes and lay in there. At last he prayed to God. Huh? He said, "Somebody help me in the name of God for the love of God." And then they came. And then there were many of these uh, astral beings, very ugly and aggressive, and trying to scare them and all that. And then the saintly being from this astral city, he extended his hands. Remember? Yes. yes. Yeah, extended his hand to those uh, uh, lowly beings, as if saying, "Come with me. I will take you also to heaven, to the astral city." But the the astral beings, the fighty ones, the aggressive ones, they just stepped back. They were kind of uh, uh, surprised at his friendly gesture in response to their aggressiveness. They were harassing that doctor and all that, the, the just newly died doctor. So the saint just extended his hand as if, come with me, I will take you also. But they did not. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> They know, these astral beings, they know who they are. They know the saints. But still didn't come with him immediately, did not. Stepped back and just went back to their usual place, usual uh, level, where they drink the muddy water. I don't see any water, it's just mud. At least it's wet, so they call that water, and they're fighting for that even. Even for us humans, we don't drink mud, but they have to because there's their hell like that. And they don't even come to the saints. They know who they are. The astral know that they are the saints, and they can take them to heaven, but they refuse to go. You see that? Yes. Yes. Mm. So I was thinking to myself, maybe I should behave that way too. I've been extending my hands for decades, and if it didn't work, then it did not work. But my heart cannot be satisfied with that. So it is my sentiment, it's my, you know, I'm born like that. I can't help it. So even when I work with the heavens to, to put the that uh, rescue area there, like a refugee camp oh. outside of the black hole, that's for the hell beings, whoever can. Just one split nanosecond, remember God, or remember the saints. Or, or repenting, or calling for help, then we can use that raft, yeah, to take them up wow. to wow. that area. Yeah, thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. And then slowly, of course, we bring them up to higher area heavens. Even without higher heavens, they will be feeling good. For example, I, I call it the hell heaven, the heaven that I made for the extra uh, repentant, uh, zealous demons. Yes? Yes, 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 yes. They are between the third and the fourth level in these buffer zones. But that means they are outside of the three worlds. They are liberated. Do you understand? Yes. yes. The three worlds are the areas that will be destroyed one day and redone for new, you know, whenever the Big Bang comes? Yes, yes, yes. Master. Whenever all the, the three worlds are destroyed, after a while it rests for a long time, and then the energy busts up forth again to recreate new things, new planets, new planes of existence, yeah? But the three worlds will be destroyed, like the astral world, the second world, the Brahma world. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. Of course, not to talk about our planet, <laughs> it's not forever. But they are outside of the three worlds. They will have no suffering, no want of anything. So it's very heaven already. Do you understand me? Yes. Even though for you, my so-called disciples, the third world is nothing. Yeah, above the third world, buffer zone is nothing. But for them, it's big heaven. Yes. 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 All right, uh, we talk a lot, eh? <laughs> you always make me talk a lot. I don't know how you do that. 
feel powerful. <laughs> you make me work with all these wires and <laughs> stuff and, you know, uh, instruments all over. And I still do it. Yeah. But it's not just for you, it's for the world, okay? Yes, 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 yes Thank you. As long as I'm still on the planet, I'm doing my job. I mean, what I want to do. What I want to do to help the world as much as I can. Okay? Yes. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Even though some might not take my hand, but some might. Yes, mm. yes. So now what next? You want to hear stories? Yes. <laughs> Or you want any more questions? By the way, yeah? Your questions are more important than the stories. Stories don't go away. Any more questions? Master, you mentioned a red black hole? Uh-huh. Uh, wh what is that, Master? You didn't see the photo that the scientists took? Not red black hole. There is energy, aggressive energy. It manifests as red light, okay? Just a red bunch of energy, red. And the the golden one that added onto it, that is a rescue refugee camp. Oh. Yeah, when the hell person is rescued and brought up there first, like a convalescence, like to recover for a while first, before they can go further anywhere else, higher up. Yes, yes, yes. Just like you're sick, okay? The hell person, when they come up, they're still sick. They're still not normal because of so much suffering, so much uh, frightening experience, so much torture for their psyche. They don't have the physical body, but their astral body feels pain, scared, fearful, just the same. Yes. 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 So that golden light is a refuge area for them to recover outside of that red zone, okay? The black hole is black inside, but outside, because the energy is so strong, it was fought out like a red ring around it. You have not seen that photo? Yes. Some of you have, huh? Yes. If you work on noteworthy news, you will see it. Okay, never mind. You have to uh, retrace it and have a look at it. Nowadays, the scientists are phenomenal. They even can take that photograph from thousands or hundreds of thousands or million light years away. Yes. Yes. It's incredible already. It's just the meaning they do not understand, but they see the photo. Okay, they can take the photograph. This is already very, very, very miraculous. <laughs> very miraculous for me. I feel they are awesome. <laughs> yeah. Okay, huh? Yes. All right. Uh, Master, in some of the black yeah. holes, you see like an energy kind of shooting out from the black hole as well. Uh -huh. What is yeah. that? What is that then? <laughs> Need you to ask me? Huh? What kind of light was did you see that shoot out? What color? Blue, like light blue. Light blue. Yeah. And what else? Um, golden, white. Uh huh. Okay, okay. The golden and the white are the souls who has been pulled out. Okay? And the blue, uh, it depends on what kind of blue. Also, maybe these are from the saints. They pull them out. Oh. The light of the saints, the light of heavens, that pull these souls out, rescue them. Okay? Wow. Got that? Yes, 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 yes. My God, the scientists nowadays, they are so awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's incredible. Okay, all right. Uh, did I answer your question? Yes, Master, thank you. You happy with it? Yes, Master. Mm, good. That is good. At least we have some pictures so that you can imagine what it's like, okay? If I just talk, talk, and there's no proof or no, no physical evidence, maybe harder for you to understand. Okay, good. Any other? No, Master. No, Master. No, good, good. Then I will tell you a story, okay, huh? Yes, yes. Master. Remember, you, Master. just stories. They are just stories. There are two stories. One story is about <laughs> one story is about the ants and Moses, and one story is about the Ten Commandments. Which one do you want to hear? Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments. Yes, Master. Perfect. 
Boys also? Yes, master. Yes, master. Good. Yes. Uh, okay. I guess you know already. In Buddhism, we also have ten commandments uh, for our higher practitioners. For normal people, for lay people, only five. The five precepts that I have mentioned at the time of initiation, okay? Yes, yes. yes. It is similar to the Ten Commandments here, which is, uh, I guess, uh, extracted from the Bible, the Holy Bible. Okay. Moses went to uh, Sinai Mountain, and then uh, he entered those uh, very thick bushes where the fire and uh, the cloud were it's supposed to be where God appeared to him. And then he uh, listened to God with all his heart. God told him first, you go back to tell your people these uh, commandments that I will tell you right now. I am the one who took you out of Egypt and uh, freed you from the slavery there. Number one, you will not worship other uh, deities or God before me. Means God is the only one. They should only worship God. Understand, yeah? Yes. 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 And then the second, you will not make any statues uh, of any of these uh, deities or uh, similar like that, either within the sky or under the earth. You will not bow down or worship these statues that uh, symbolize this those uh, deities, huh? because I am your God. I am a jealous God. I guess it's just a kind of translation. God is not jealous. If it's a real God, the high God has, is not jealous. It's just that you should not worship God and lower deities. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 And even even making the statues out of them to worship them. And that's a no no. That's a idolatry. They call it, right? Yes. 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 No good. Number three. God transmitted the Ten Commandments to Moses. Okay? This is a number three. The the third commandment is you will not call the name of God aloud. Well, we don't, right? Yes, mm. yes. After initiation, you repeat the name of God and relate it to God only in silence and use the tongue of the mind to repeat when you need to and during meditation. It's the same, right? Remember? Yes, yes, yes. So this is the thing that uh, God has even told Moses, I guess, to give him initiation and then give him these Ten Commandments, and whoever has initiation with Moses later on will have to do the same. Keep the commandments and do not recite the names of God or relate it under God to anyone or without any reason. Yes, like yes. the last time we talked about another story, only the high priest will re refer to God's name mm -hmm. on that special day only in a special room, special chamber in the, in the temple. Just like when we give initiation, we go into the special place, you know, any quiet, private place, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. In our ashram and to give the initiation. Yes, 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 yes. And then you will learn to repeat the name of God only at that time. And afterward you repeat in silence, yeah? With the tongue of the mind and with the, the soul, okay? All right, that's number three.